Hi everyone. In this video, I wanted to share with you, as I promised, the notes from my tooth regeneration notebook. I have several binders on different subjects and all of them contain notes about that particular subject. And this binder is no different. This tooth binder I began because I was suffering from a lot of teeth issues that I'm still recovering from, but it, I titled it Teeth Book, Healing and Regeneration. In this book, I have a collection of handwritten notes. I have um, notes that I have written from groups that I was in on Facebook when I had my Facebook activated, articles, I have printout of articles that I found online. I also have a, um, a blend of remedies from Ayurvedic remedies, spiritual, metaphysical remedies, and other types of remedies from all over. I have also have notes in there that I've taken from various books. Now, the first part of um, showing you my notes, I'm going to just insert some pictures in this video so that way you can just pause the video and write it yourself because reading it would make this video way, way too long. I may review some of the notes, like verbally tell you what they are, but other than that, you can just like pause and write it down yourself because it, it'll be faster that way. But before I get into all of my notes, I wanted to tell you how I ended up on this tooth journey. So I have essentially had problems with my teeth since I was a child. I had crooked teeth. I had braces from ages 14 through 19. So I did not have a, I did not have serious issues with my teeth until like 2018, 2017. I don't know exactly what caused my teeth issues. I think it was a blend of multiple things. One thing that was consistent over all of it was just financial issues. I didn't have enough money to just consistently go to the dentist. I didn't have enough money to keep my insurance. I just didn't have enough. Even though I was working full time, stressing my body out, I just didn't have enough to take care of myself. One of the emotional causes of tooth problems is um, lack of stability or, or fear of losing your stability, which is <laughs> what was going on over the past few years. I was losing jobs. I was relocating. All these people coming in and out of my life. There was really nothing stable about my life. So I was shaken to my core. And of course, my teeth were a result. I also had fluctuating eating habits. Like sometimes I would just eat, eat, eat. And other times I wasn't getting enough food. And because I wasn't getting enough food and overworking myself, my body and my bones really took a hit. I also had a lot of like people that I was close to that I don't talk to anymore. And emotionally, that just it just felt like the framework of my life was falling apart, essentially. And my teeth were a reflection of, of that as well. Another thing that I really think solidified the destruction of my teeth was around 2016, 2017, I ended up getting a hepatitis B vaccine that I really didn't want, but I had to get it because I was, I wanted to work with children. Well, I didn't want to work to, with children, but I was like trying to get this job and they're like, you have to get it to work with kids. And I'm like, I've always worked with kids. I don't really need this vaccine. But I got it anyway because I was desperate. At around that time, my relationship was falling apart. And I also had an entire family living in my one-bedroom apartment. So I was stressed. Stressed as I don't know what. <laughs> I didn't. It was just too much going on. So about two or three weeks after I got this hepatitis B vaccine, I started collapsing. I was just feeling so terrible. I was basically bedridden and the doctors say that it was mono but now that I look back on it 
and really had the time to think about it, I honestly think it was that hepatitis B vaccine because my body has not felt the same since the beginning of 2017. I was in bed. I couldn't move. I was just very weak. And I have not really gotten that original vitality return like that. The only thing that has kept me uplifted most of the time or functioning is my consistent use of like eating actual food and herbs. But other than that, I just couldn't barely climb the stairs anymore. I couldn't run as fast as I wanted. I just felt overall weaker. And around 2019, 2018 was when my first tooth broke, and then 2019, two teeth fell out um, that year. I lost two teeth in, like, 2019. I had some teeth extracted. I've lost at least eight to nine teeth, whether they were breaking off or something. Breaking off on mashed potatoes, breaking off on a bean, like just breaking in general and being in a lot of pain and suffering. So that's when I started really trying to research about teeth and learning more about them, learning how to care about them. I ended up going on Facebook and joining all of these different Facebook groups. I was getting so many different mixed messages and I couldn't keep up with them. So that's why I started my binder to keep up with all of these things that I was discovering. So right now I'm going to insert some photos of my notes that you can see and you can pause and write them. That way I won't have to go into detail like on every single thing, but pause right here and you will see the notes. So here they go. Okay, now that you have seen the notes, the photographs of my handwritten notes, I'm going to briefly go over a few of them, starting with the first page that says notes. The first page notes, I just wrote because I didn't know where to categorize all these different things, so I just put it as notes. Some of these things on here are actually herbs. I got some of these herbs from reading the ingredients of um, Bliss Energetics. I think that's what it's called. There's a girl that created basically a tooth care line and some other things. But her tooth putty has really helped people with their teeth and their cavities and various things. And a lot of people buy her tooth putty and her tooth powders and all of that are tooth clay and they sell out very quickly. So she has a Facebook group on there as well. And that's where I got a lot of my information from primarily besides like reading books about teeth. So one, one is theobromine. I can't remember if that's an herb or not, but theobromine causes new enamel to harden. Drynaria is an herb and it is 
for bone building, grown both, and dental tissue. Romania. I've seen this herb before, but it's for healthy bones. And some of these notes I have written, like the titles of formulas, and you can look up these formulas if you want to just research them, buy them if you can find them. My notes have a blend of Ayurvedic names. If you see any names that sound like Russian, it's um, I essentially wrote them because I would come across that name while reading. Like they would mention somebody and I just wrote down their name to see if I could see anything that they wrote about teeth. Like Mikhail Stolbov, I just put equals regenerate teeth. So there's It's probably something that he written that he has written that's related to regenerating the teeth. Other places where I have read about teeth regeneration have been mostly in Qigong books. The first Qigong book I ever read that talked about new teeth growing was in the complete no 101 Miracles of Natural Healing. And one of the patients, or um, not patients, one of the, they, they called the patients something different, but I'm just going to call them friends. So one of the friends that was there getting healed of his illnesses, he was in his 60s and new teeth started growing in his mouth just from doing the consistent Qigong the Jinang Qigong, his hair started turning back to its original color because his body was essentially being lubricated with qi. Some people don't believe that. I personally believe it. I think you can talk to the body and train your body to do what it wants to do if you have a strong enough willpower and a strong enough belief. You can make your body do almost anything. That's why you see people in the past that didn't believe you could run under four minutes until somebody did it. And now they're like, oh, I can run now. I can run under four minutes now. I don't want to say monkey see, monkey do, but that, that's the only phrase I can think of right now. <laughs> but yeah, that is what I wanted to show you. Let's see. Now the essential oils on bacteria, on this page, bacteria, it says tea tree, clove oil, cinnamon, all diluted. The reason you want to dilute it with a lighter oil is because they are essential oils and they're very concentrated, so they could actually like hurt you, like burn you. You don't want something too strong and you definitely do not want to swallow these essential oils. If you're using an essential oil, do not swallow them. You will get poisoned. Colloidal silver. I have seen that being used for like infections and, and bacteria. I used it when I had, before my tooth got extracted, I was using it in my tooth to just help with the pain and it helped a lot before I got it taken out. The next section, cell salts. Now, cell salts are essentially like these little, these little tablets. They dissolve on the tongue. Or underneath the tongue. You can also put them in water. It's 12 cell salts and they have different potencies. So if you see the notes and it has like the potency, just use that potency that's on there. Um, these came from Facebook group. Next one. For products, I just wrote down the names of different products that I wanted to research up. I'm not promoting the products. I just saw them in a group, so I decided to write them down to figure out, like, 
how they work? Have there been any, any reviews about them? Products number three and four, they look like two books. So the Calcium Paradox is a book. And Nutrition and Physical Degeneration by Weston Price, that is a book as well. Now, I'm going to read to you printouts that I have. I designed all of my printouts. At the top, I have like printout number one, and then I have like what this printout is about, just in case I'm skimming through where I won't have to read everything. So printout number one, are Ayurvedic remedies for cavity and tooth decay. So let's read it. Today I am sharing with you seven amazing Ayurvedic remedies for cavity and tooth decay. These are very simple and easy strategies to help prevent or heal oral health. Blah, 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 blah. Causes of tooth decay. High intake of sugary, starchy, and processed foods in your diet. High fructose corn syrup and processed foods will also hurt the teeth. At the time that my teeth were becoming really damaged, I was eating just like, not fast food, but I was eating processed foods. I was eating a lot of bread, and that probably really hurt my teeth. Not cleaning the teeth properly after eating. Acid from the sugar combines with food debris and forms plaque. Yeah, I had that problem too. And plaques can easily lead to cavity and tooth decay. That's true. So, she, is it a she that wrote this? I, I don't know. But it says one way to help with cavities, plaques, and gum infections is to chew on herbal sticks. Stem branches of bitter or astringent plants. So I guess it'd be like miswack or a licorice chew stick. Oil pulling. Salt rinsing, gum massage, and using herbs berries that strengthen the teeth or strengthen gum tissues and stabilizes collagen. One thing that can help with like collagen formation is vitamin C. That's why they gave the, the sailors in the past limes because they were high in vitamin C to prevent them from getting scurvy. They were getting scurvy. And it was making their, their gums just very spongy and they were losing teeth and they were getting really ill. It was just very bad. So if you don't want to use a powdered vitamin C, you can also use products that are high in vitamin C like Amla, Baobab, Kamu Kamu is high in vitamin C. Um, Kamu Kamu is C-A-M-U, C-A-M-U. There's also the rose hips. Red clover. You can also use white oak bark for your gums because white oak bark helps like tighten the gums. It helps with pyorrhea too. Ayurvedic practices to prevent oral cavity. Herbal sticks. Chewing on a fresh stem from a neem tree is the most popular way to combat tooth decay and keep your oral health intact. Neem is extremely preferable for pita and kapha doshas, and licorice is good for vata dosha. Chewing these herbal stems that has antibacterial effect can protect teeth from plaques. Miswak or twig from Salvadora persica, the arak slash pilu tree, is also popular as an herbal chewing stick. Licorice, neem, or miswak can be used as a toothbrush to clean the teeth. Chew one end of the herbal stems to make them feel like a brush. So I guess like when you're chewing it, you can go like that. And this is what one of them looks like. This is page number three, by the way. Can you see it? Two, herbal tooth powder. Ditching the commercial toothpaste would be wise to make. And she doesn't give you a, you know, a recipe for the tooth powder. I know Dr. Christopher has a tooth powder. You can make your own tooth powder. Just make sure you ground up the herbs really well so they won't scratch the surface of your teeth. 
oil pulling. Oil pulling is a practice that involves swishing oil in the mouth and systemic health benefits. Oils such as sunflower, sesame, and coconut are very popular. However, sesame seed is the best of all the seed crop for oral health. Well, I guess with like, if it's Ayurveda, of course it's going to say sesame seed because that's in a lot of like recipes for oil pulling. But it says that oil pulling helps reduce bleeding gums, bad breath, dryness of throat, cracked lips, whitening teeth, strengthening gums, teeth, and jaw. The next is gum massage. She gives a recipe from her, or he or she gives a recipe from her, the mother-in-law. The mother-in-law mixes two teaspoons of pure mustard seed oil with one-fourth teaspoon of rock or sea salt. So I think rock salt might be alum. I think that's what it is, alum, A-L-U-M. It may be that, but I'm not sure. And massage the gums gently. This formula can combat pyorrhea, swollen gums, toothache, bleeding gums, and it strengthens the gums and kills the germs. You can also use turmeric powder, 1 4 teaspoon, instead of salt, or add turmeric with salt and mustard seed. Turmeric with mustard seed oil is beneficial for toothache, dental caries, and pain in the teeth. Five, gargle with salt, okay. Six, clove oil. Clove is rich in minerals such as calcium, hydrochloric acid, iron, phosphorus, sodium, potassium, and vitamin A. Vitamin C and a powerful compound called eugenol is antimicrobial and antiseptic. It also helps with sore gums and mouth ulcers. You dilute the clove oil with sesame seed oil. Pour a couple of drops on a cotton ball and put at the end of the tooth. Do this every night before going to bed. You can also keep the whole clove under your tongue after eating. You chew lightly on the clove and keep it under your tongue. This is a breath freshener and will keep the teeth and gums strong. Then it says herbal remedies. A well-known herb in Ayurveda to reduce cavity and plaque is amla or the Indian gooseberry. Did I not just mention amla? Like, I haven't read this article in like years, but I just think it's funny. It has the ability to rebuild the oral health as it supports the healing and development of the connective tissues. One to two grams of dried amla powder can be taken as a decoction or capsule for long-term benefit to the teeth and gum. Additionally, bilberry and hawthorn berries can stabilize collagen and strengthen the gum tissue. Note that all three berries are rich in vitamin C. Bilberry is also good for the eyes. You can use it for your eyes. You can use hawthorn berries for your heart. It's good for your cardiovascular system. You can even use the hawthorn leaf and flower for it. In Ayurveda, Teeth are considered part of ashti, A-S-T-H-I, datu, D-H-A-T-U, or bone tissues. Herbs taken internally to strengthen bone, like the skeleton and joints, are good for long-term health of the teeth. Some herbs that strengthen the bones are yellow dock. That's a blood cleanser. Alfalfa leaf, that one they call the king of herbs because it's so high in vitamins. Nettle leaf, oat straw. Oat straw is good for the hair. It's like, I want to say it has silica in it, but don't quote me on that. Horsetail, which is also known as shaved grass, which is good for your hair and your nails and your teeth. Um, they also say that, I don't know which form of horsetail you have to take, whether it's like you have to make it into a juice, but there was one person that said it helped re-enamelize the teeth. Cinnamon bark and turmeric root. So I don't know who wrote this. It doesn't have their name on there, unfortunately. But it was written in February 2014. So I've had this for a little while. Um, let's see. 
But I like that they mention herbs taken internally to strengthen the bones, like the skeletons and joints, because children or teeth are the children of bones. So when you're fixing the joints or you're doing something for the hair, usually you're affecting the bone. I, I don't know why, but like when I was researching herbs for hair growth, a lot of those herbs were also connected to like bone health and joint health, which I thought was pretty interesting. Let us see. Print out number two. Herbal teas for oral health. And this was written by Josh Williams in January 2013. Sipping on certain herbal teas for healthy teeth and gums bathes your mouth in healing properties while you enjoy the relaxation and enjoyment that only tea can offer. When I was essentially drinking a lot of tea, my nails and my eyelashes were growing like insane. And I wasn't even trying to do anything with my hair. I was trying to strengthen my bones and my nails were just growing. That's how I got some of these scratches because they were so long and hard that I just was scratching myself. I think I need to go back. And my hair was growing really crazy. My eyelashes are just like, I was like, what's going on? I think like I had horsetail, I had graviola, which is also known as soursop, and like a couple other herbs. I had collagen powder. I was doing the thing. So, for bad breath, you can fight bad breath naturally by using anise, like star anise, peppermint, or mint herbal tea. I actually hate all of those tastes. I don't. I hate mint in all forms. The only mint I like is lemon balm. I will brush my teeth every day, but that doesn't mean that I love mint. I hate mint. Candy canes, mint chocolate ice cream, I can't stand it. But it's so good for your teeth. It's also good for your hair. That's why I hate when people use mint peppermint shampoo on my hair. I cannot... No. <laughs> There's certain hair products I won't get just because it has peppermint in it. Hair oils, shampoos, conditioners. I was like, oh, never mind. But for the mouth, it will freshen it up. If you're a nursing mother, you can probably use anise because they say it increases breast milk too. Ginger freshens and purifies the breath. You can also use ginger for like digestion. Hmm. Green tea is known for being a natural antioxidant that's high in fluoride. Drinking green tea can prevent cavities, reduce decay, and even nourish the gums. For people who smoke or use chewing tobacco, green tea is a must. It can help keep the mouth clean while it delivers antioxidants. Alfalfa is rich in minerals, which can help promote strong, healthy teeth and bones. Adding alfalfa to your favorite blend is a great way to benefit from this healing herb. As I mentioned, alfalfa is called the king of herbs. Right now, people are like so fixated on, I want to say sea moss. They're like, it's 92 minerals. And no, if, if it is 92 minerals, I don't know. I keep hearing mixed reviews. One person said 23, one person said 92. But sometimes if they can't find like a sea moss is just like, you know what? I didn't want anything. I'm like, why don't you go with alfalfa? Like alfalfa has so many vitamins in there. You can even take it while you're nursing. I love alfalfa. You can sprout it, all sorts of different things, but they just don't know. They just don't know. And how can you take what you do not know? Happy gums. Fennel and thyme, in addition to green tea, are all favorites for the gum. As natural antibacterial and antibiotic herbs, they can help reduce the risk of infections, soothe the delicate tissues of the gums, and wipe away any nasty stuff out of your mouth. Um, I don't know much about thyme. I've heard it being used for like, I don't know if it was used for cholesterol or if it was used for blood sugar. I haven't researched that one. Fennel, I've heard, being used for digestion, breast enhancement, um, milk production, and 
also would like curbing the appetite. So the next printout is from one of my favorite sites. You have to go to this site. It has so many gems on here. It's from the Healing Teeth Naturally site. Healing Teeth Naturally. And it's Remedies for Tooth Infections. So on there, it's a non-toxic, non-invasive, and our natural healing approach based on anecdotal. Hold on. One second. What's going on? Oh, okay. Tooth Infection Remedy Report. MSM. A naturally occurring compound, sulfur compound without side effects. I think it does have side effects. Like if you take too much MSM, I believe you can get like stomach cramps or pains or constipation. It's one of those things. But a lot of people started taking MSM for popular reasons for hair growth because the MSM, they say, keeps the hair in the in the antigen growth phase, which is the active growth phase. And so the hair will just keep growing longer because you've extended your growth phase. And people have also used it for like thickening their hair. But initially, most of the time before, you know, you became super popular, MSM was used for joints, joint health, lubricating the joints. But you'll mostly hear people talk about it as a hair care product. Hmm. It, it's a sulfur compound without side effects and has helped many thousands of people with frequently serious issues related to pain and inflammation. One reported dental miracle concerned an 80-year-old with an inflamed root canal tooth, which completely healed after consistently applying MSM crystals to her gums, as well as taking MSM internally at a rate of three teaspoons a day. Next, vitamin C. Erica Herbst reports in her book, Die Hauk, I don't know, what, this sounds German, The Healing Arts of Tomorrow, how she rid herself of a tooth infection of her own by taking a total of three grams of vitamin C daily, 15 tablets of uh, C200 presumably spread out over the day. She must have been around 70 at the time. Then it talks about oil pulling, of course, once again, for inflammation, because it'll pull the infection out, they say. Another one, which I don't think a lot of people will do, but I'm pretty sure there are some people that will do this. This is not the first time I've heard of this being used for something, which is urine therapy. First time I heard of urine therapy was probably in 2013. There was this book I found online and they were essentially using urine therapy for the skin, like putting their own urine on their face to stave off wrinkles and different things. But I had heard of people drinking urine, but this one I've never heard for like a tooth infection. Our own perfect medicine has done it again. Sarah had a very serious and painful tooth infection in a broken molar and healed it via urine rinses and urine fasting in a matter of days. I'm trying to be non-biased, I swear. I'm sorry if you saw me cringe. I'm, I'm trying not to cringe. I just... I can't, I can't go that far. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't go that far. I just can't. I can't. I can't even put urine on my face. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to have a golden shower on myself. Like, this is just insane, but okay. Whew. Urine therapy heals severe tooth root infection. Urine rinses and fasting dramatically improve loose broken molars, stop all pain, and re a chipped tooth. Newbies to urine therapy find introductory background info at urine therapy for the healing of teeth and gum problems. So this is like a link in the article. 
Rudolf Bruce Recommendation for All Infections Austrian naturopath and best-selling author Rudolf Bruce, B-R-E-U-S-S, -S, who reaped many successes with his often simple down-to-earth healing approaches, advises that with any type of infection, make sure to frequently drink a sip of pure water in the day. I'm, that's going to be some strong water. Magnets eliminate infections and in teeth after root canals. I told you the story before of magnets. <laughs> I don't know which video, but um, I mentioned Cheryl's Herbs before. Cheryl's Herbs is this health store in St. Louis. It's pretty small, but it's one of the oldest health stores in St. Louis, for real. There's really not that many health stores open here, except maybe a handful because it just keeps closing down. But thankfully, Cheryl's Herbs is still around. Cheryl has passed. Her mother has passed. The, the, the other dude, he passed. But I met Cheryl's mother at one of their first locations, which was on Manchester They've moved like two or three times. So this was like a location that had a giant room that had a library and you could sit and read the, the book about the herbs. So Cheryl's mother was in her 80s um, and she was having this class about magnets and I was the only one that showed up to the class, <laughs> sitting at the table. And she's like, okay, now we're going to talk about magnets and how they healed. And she was telling me how the magnets were healing everything. <laughs> she's like, I have magnets everywhere. I have magnets in my shoes. I have a magnet on my belt. I have magnets right here. I'll never forget that. Every time I think of magnets, I just think of Cheryl's mother. <laughs> she rests that lady's soul. She had magnets everywhere. So this is what they say about magnets eliminating teeth infections. Um, a quote I read, I found on the internet reads, My experience covering about 20 years indicates that most infections in teeth as a result of root canals or abscesses can be eliminated permanently by magnets. I haven't seen any more information on this, but generally magnets, when correctly applied, have been found to exert astounding healing effects from healing, um, dang, can I legally say that? From healing like abnormal growths, stuff like that, to regenerating knee joint cartilage, another medical impossibility Dr. Richard Gerber's book, Vibrational Medicine, features research studies proving the similarity between the healing effect of treatment by a healer and by a magnet. Next, homeopathy against tooth root inflammation. So here's some homeopathic remedies. Hepar sulfurous or Hepar sulf, H-E-P-A-R-S-U-L-F-U-R-I-S, that's the full name, and then the Short name is H-E-P-A-R space S-U-L-P-H. Tissue salt number four. And then she has like some more things. Next, Swedish bitters. I've seen Swedish bitters. They have a really cute bottle. If it's the same Swedish bitters I'm thinking about. Swedish bitters, a powerful old remedy reintroduced by Austrian herbalist Maria Treben is an herbal formula for most conditions and healing teeth naturally view. Swedish bitters have worked among many other things against infection and inflammation, including in the dental realm. Simply dab on repeatedly or keep a tablespoon in your mouth for a while. For toothache, it is promised that pain soon eases and the putrefaction disappears. Well, dang, I should have used that. The book Maria Treben's Cures features the case of a person with a painful su superating jaw, who reports that only Swedish bitters helped and made him pain-free. 
she also mentions the case of a 12 year old that was that was my my heater <laughs> who used Swedish bitters on his gum boil which opened and released pus more suggested tooth infection remedies based upon anecdotal evidence one person healed a deep-seated root infection after taking borage oil and spirulina borage oil is a rich source of GLA, which is gamma linolenic acid, and it has anti-inflammatory properties. Now, GLA is good for mature skin. It's good for like deep skin moisture. You can also use borage seed oil for cervical ripening near the end of your pregnancy, and I think they've given it to underdeveloped infants to speed up their growth, but don't quote me on that. So that's that's borage seed oil. It's a little blue flower. Olive oil and cabbage leaf packs. Father Thomas Haberly, the late accomplished Swiss naturopathic healer, used olive oil massages for diseases of the head and bones. Olive oil is anti-inflammatory and able to penetrate deeply, even the hardest bones, and thus brings healing to these hard to get areas. You can do it on your jaw every day. You can also use cabbage leaf poultices. An ancient folk remedy with powerfully detoxifying and healing effects. Put fresh piece of softened raw cabbage onto an infected tooth root to clear out infection. Whew, good Lord, this is very long. We're, we're almost done. You can use fasting. You can use cork poultices. And cork is a type of cottage cheese popular in German-speaking countries. You can use ground fenugreek packs. One woman put some cork or the cottage cheese on a piece of gauze, applied it to her teeth with a plastic, applied it to her cheek with a plastic cover and fixed it with a scarf. The next morning, the gauze was yellow from the pus, which had been draining through her cheek during the night. The healing of the abscess was completely completed by following up with several days of water or oil pulling. Another thing is called sylvitis, a crystal clear liquid available from Holland with reportedly excellent effect on deep-rooted dental infections. It's spelled S-I-L-V-I-T-I-S. Then there's also foot reflexology of the lymphatic zones that help with um, tooth pain. Then she also mentions xylitol rinsing and toothbrushing and something called chlorhexidine rinses. So that's one printout. Next printout. Regrow tooth enamel. I don't know who wrote this, but it was written in 2017. And it's basically herbs that help with tooth enamel. So one herb I haven't mentioned yet is black walnut. Black walnut is also in Dr. Christopher's formula for bone flesh and cartilage and also in his herbal tooth powder. Black walnut, you will find in a lot of parasite cleanses. Um, you can also spiritually take a black walnut bath to get like hexes off of you and get enemies out of your life and stuff like that. But you don't want to take black walnut if you're pregnant because it's, it's, it can cause a miscarriage. Black walnut. Tincture of black walnut holes has been used to rebuild tooth enamel. I wouldn't, I've heard of people using the black walnut powder to brush their teeth with, but you don't want to use it too much because you don't want to scratch the surface of your teeth. Black walnut contains iodine, 
natural fluoride, sulfur, copper, silica, selenium, potassium, and magnesium. Well, dang, no wonder he had it in his bone, flesh, and cartilage. If you got, if you got silica, and that's why my hair was growing. Okay. And iodine, if you have something with your thyroid, maybe that will help. There was a man that wrote the book, The Complete healing the ultimate it's like ultimate healing method or something like that by Lepore and he had a um, ah! get I knew it was that mouse oh my god he tried to come in my window again. Get! Get out of my window. Okay. 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 I'm done. It's dark outside. I'm not I'm not dealing with this. I'm not dealing with you today. Anyway. What was I saying? I'm just I'm just over it. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Look, I'm not playing with you. Freaking. Okay. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. This mouse, this is the second time this mouse tried to come in through my freaking window on the second floor. I thought you had dropped and gone to heaven, but apparently you want more smoke from Kiki. Okay. Do it. Test me. What was I saying? Iodine. Thyroid gland. Thyroid gland. A drop full, a dropper full of the tincture is added to an ounce of water and switched in the mouth for one minute, then swallowed. This is done twice a day for three weeks. Then a three-week break is taken. The process can be repeated if needed. Horse tail, we already mentioned that. They also have toothpaste alternatives. Glycerin is a common natural ingredient in natural toothpaste. Unfortunately, this leaves a coating on the teeth, keeping the saliva from touching the teeth. Saliva is an important part of remineralization. The only time I've heard of saliva being used for the teeth, like for healing it, was in a book on Qigong. It was in the complete system of self-healing internal exercises. And it was essentially called drinking the heavenly waters where you took your, your tongue and you went around your teeth and you swallowed the... Um, you swallowed the saliva to heal it. You also did teeth clicking, stuff like that. But yeah, you will find a lot of glycerin in these tooth powders. You can use simple baking soda. You can, you don't wanna use sodium laurel Laurel, laurel sulfate is, you don't want to use that because it's a toothpaste that causes them to foam up and it's hard on the mouth and can even cause reactions in the face. So in this article they have a, remineral, a remineralizing tooth powder recipe. One teaspoon black walnut hull powder, one teaspoon horsetail powder, one teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon xylitol, and one drop peppermint essential oil. Mix all of these ingredients together. Sprinkle one-fourth teaspoon on a wet brush, wet toothbrush, and brush gently twice daily. We got xylitol, which is um, helps reduce the number of strep bacteria in the saliva and plaque, so you'll find it in a lot of gums and toothpaste and different things. 
You can buy it by itself in a powder. You, you can alkalize your mouth. Acid breaks down enamel on your teeth. A highly acidic diet is hard on the teeth. Using baking soda, tooth powder, or a baking soda mouth rinse can restore your mouth to a pH that is unfriendly to harmful bacteria. So here is a mouthwash recipe they have. Two cups pure water, one tablespoon xylitol, two teaspoons baking soda, and one drop essential oil. You combine all of these ingredients in a pint mason jar, shake well, Pour an ounce into a small cup and swish around in the mouth for 20 seconds. Spit out the rinse. And this can also be used as a sore throat gargle. Sorry, I'm looking out my window. It's dark. And I don't know if he's climbing up the vines again to try to get in my house and pay zero bills. Next printout. EFT tapping. For healing and tooth decay, if you don't know what EFT tapping is, it's basically like you tap different pressure points and you help heal emotional trauma. Two minutes of EFT eliminates severe wisdom tooth pain so severe that painkillers did nothing. Pain from a fractured tooth disappears? Did EFT heal the fracture? It just goes on and on and on and on. Hmm. Okay. Hi, everyone. This article from Melanie Atwe, however you pronounce her name, from the UK should be read, studied, and reread, and then framed. Well, I can't do all that. I have to save my frames. It illustrates the value of persistent use of EFT on an impossible dental pain emanating from a rotten tooth. After using EFT for an excruciating pain one night, she reports, no sign of pain. I could not even make the tooth hurt. It was still shaky, but pain-free in under five hours. Prior to that, I would have waited a full... Seven days seven to 10 days for the pain to be completely gone after taking antibiotics. She went on to tap consistently for a month, three month period for the tooth to reset, to turn, return to normal. Hold on. Anyway, along the way, she recognized some emotional reasons for the tooth problem and resolved those as well. So sometimes you'll like EFT on the face, EFT, just all different stuff you just tap. So I don't, I guess you can just go on the internet and look up the EFT tapping. So that way you can heal yourself of these issues. Hmm. There's another one where it talks about tooth regeneration. I'm trying to give you as much information as I can. A human regenerate. How can a human tooth regenerate by mental imagery? While there may be no conclusive answers available at the present, we already possess a few pieces of the mind-body puzzle. This is printout number six. Tooth regeneration via visualization from healing teeth naturally. For one thing, people are known to be able to grow muscle mass by visualizing exercise. See studies on the benefits of mental training. We also know that at the most basic level, absolutely everything, no matter how solid it may appear to be, to our extremely limited senses is pure energy, which of course includes our teeth. If we are able to grow muscles by visualization, perhaps regrowing part of a tooth is the next step. And that some type of energy can indeed work to reverse dental decay. Has, for instance, been demonstrated by energy healer Donna Eden, who has successfully used acupressure to this end. 
In any case, radical tooth repair of a more normal type has been observed in children as well. For instance, in this case, who followed an extreme form of nutrient-rich diet. So there's like links under here, and I, I don't know. I guess you'll have to go to Healing Teeth Naturally and click on the links because it leads to other articles on the website. Meanwhile, we even have teeth regrowing in the lab, such as after implantation of stem cells or using ultrasound. And I don't know why America is taking so freaking long, because if you're able to grow a freaking ear on a mouse, using stem cells using the scaffolding and grow a human ear on the back of a mouse, why can't you just grow the teeth? Like, just do it. You've already grown a gallbladder. What more? You've grown a freaking kidney. What more do you need to wait on? You can do it. We've seen you do it. You can go on YouTube and look it up. But America, we just, we just, they just hate their citizens, like, or North America, the United States, just hates their citizens being healthy, like, you just want us to die off, but okay, just, you gonna do all that? You might as well just come out and say it, like, don't play these mind games on me and delay cures. Incidentally, many animals replace or regrow some or all of their teeth throughout their lifetime, including sharks, rabbits, and one primate. The AYE-AYE. As far as humans are concerned, the only routine regrowth we know about is that of the human liver, which is able to fully regenerate from as little as 10% of its original substance. Should you have more questions, please note that as mentioned above, all Healing Teeth Naturally Knows and all the originator of the testimonial has said about it is freely shared in translated form on this site. If you want to contact the person, just follow the link to the German original posting below. You can also follow a more elaborate healing meditation such as the Universal Light Meditation. I love Healing Teeth Naturally's websites. Printout number seven, Herbs for Tooth Decay. This doesn't have an author on here. It's from naturaltoothrepair.com. Some of the herbs that I haven't brought up, it has licorice. Um, no, it has coriander. Coriander in Asia as Chinese parsley, and Americans called it cilantro, is a common kitchen herb. It has antibacterial properties, which helps to heal the mouth, ulcers, and infections. Number five, sage. Like all other herbs commonly used in the kitchen, sage too has antibacterial properties that can cure tooth decay. You can make a cheap and effective Mouth rinse by brewing sage in water. Seven, golden seal herb. Golden seal was traditionally used by Native Americans to treat a number of diseases, including digestive problems and liver conditions. Tea made from this herb can be used as a mouth rinse or gargle to treat mouth sores and sore throat. White oak bark powder helps to strengthen gums and tighten teeth to gums. There's a story uh, by Dr. Moffat about a man who had a severe case of bleeding and infected gums. His dentist wanted to do an expensive gum surgery. Two months after using white oak bark, he had healthy pink gums and his teeth readhered to them. Myrrh, number nine, an ancient herb used in bi biblical days for various medicinal purposes to cure mouth infection. and maintain good dental health. Add 30 drops of myrrh tincture to a glass 
of warm water and use it as a mouth rinse. Toothache tree number 11. Yes, there is a such plant called toothache tree. It is an aromatic shrub native to North America. Also known as angelica tree, prickly ash, and suterberry, the natives chewed on the bark to relieve their toothaches. It is also used to treat stomach disorders, sore throats, and skin infections. It induces the secretion of saliva and is used to treat dry mouth. 12. Cranberry juice. Cranberry juice can be effective in improving oral hygiene as it inhibits bacterial growth in the mouth and thus reduces plaque formation. 12, 13. Wheatgrass juice. Helps to prevent tooth decay and gargling wheatgrass juice helps to relieve toothache and treats bleeding gums. Strengthening Teeth and Gums. This is printout number eight from Healing Teeth Naturally. <clears throat> Comfrey Root is a time-honored treatment for a number of bone-related complaints because I call it knit bone. You can use it if you're, you know, bones are broken and you want to heal them faster. It says, if you, a widely distributed internet article maintains that rinsing your mouth with comfrey root powder, complemented by the regular intake of organic eggshells, will make teeth regrow. Maybe I could combine comfrey root powder and eggshell membrane. I can buy some eggshell membrane capsules and maybe mix it up with the comfrey root and take it internally. We'll make teeth regrow. Comfrey can influence the course of bone ailments, but you don't want to take too much. They say it is heavy on the liver though. Or it's one of those things. Kombucha tea. The natural remedy, do, 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 drinking kombucha tea can help one's teeth be free from damage. Maybe it's the probiotics. Since urine tests of individuals who had never drunk kombucha before have shown considerable traces of environmental toxins such as lead, mercury, benzene, cesium, after kombucha kombucha's consumption, it may be helpful for anyone suffering from heavy metal toxicity. Eucalyptus as an oil. Rinse your mouth with a drop of eucalyptus oil in a glass of water to freshen your breath, but also stop superficial caries and bacteria from proliferating. They also mention green tea again, but with oolong and black tea. Chaparral helps prevent dental caries. Alum, it says, alum, black pepper, rock salt, and turmeric root. Mix five parts alum, three parts black pepper powder, two parts rock salt powder, and one part turmeric powder, and massage on the gums. You can also make a gum pack out of rose petal, oak leaf, and carob powder. Another remedy is onion. Rubbing onion over teeth apparently cleans, whitens, and strengthens them. Seaweed. Seaweed deserves a special mention here for its important role in healing, but she doesn't go into detail. Chlorophyll powder. Brushing with chlorophyll powder can help tooth decay and gum infection. Strawberries. Strawberries help remove tartar. You cut a strawberry in half and rub onto teeth and gums. Leave on for 45 minutes and rinse with warm water. 
rye, as in rye bread. Natural fluorine from rye sprouts or flakes increases enamel strength. It says, filling, filling cavities? Regrow your teeth instead. This is another article, printout number nine. But it only mentions the eggshells and the comfrey root. That's all it mentions. It says, eggshells contain 27 minerals and loads of calcium. After cracking the egg, just boil your shells in water for five minutes to kill any pathogens. I'm sure there's some recipes online. Regrowing is not just an anomaly. So this is printout number 10, and I cannot remember who it was written by, but this person goes into equipment for tooth regrowth and remedies. So one equipment is Novamin. N-O-V-A-M-I-N is the brand name of the particular bioactive glass that is used in dental care products for remineralization of teeth. The active ingredients is chemical calcium sodium Phosphosilicate. It delivers silica, iron, calcium, phosphorus, and sodium. That's Novamin. Lipus, which is low intensity pulse ultrasound. You, um, Generally use 1.5 mHz, I guess megahertz, or frequency pulses with a pulse width of 200 US repeated at 1 kHz at an intensity of 30. See, I cannot. I just got to show this to you because this is, I can't read all of this. Read it. Okay. Has or she or he has a list of tooth products that they recommend. So you can see. Mm -mm -mm. There's another one somebody wrote about phytic acid, and you can look that up yourself, P-H-Y-T-I-C. You don't want too many nuts and too many beans that are high in phytic acid. You want to soak on them because the phytic acid will eat away at your teeth. Then... Printout number 13 is from a forum, I think, and it's called Regrow Teeth Nature's Way. And I also printed out the comments in the, the forum, the discussions that people were having amongst each other from like 2009 before it got deleted. It says, this blog is for people who are regrowing teeth or who have regrown teeth. This was written in 2009. Chances are, in any large crowd, there are a few people who have regrown adult teeth. So he just goes on about that in talking about dental regeneration as his passion. He has yet to grow his own damaged teeth. There are a number of websites on tooth regeneration, and I'm trying to pull it together to come up with answers. Here are a few websites of interest. There's acupuncture, which is the Center for Holistic Dentistry. It's holisticdentist.com. Um, there's naturalworldhealing.com slash dental info. There's also a 
site about positive health and feng shui. Actually, there's two feng shui sites. There's one about the Tao, which is Dr. Master Shah had a song for healing and rejuven reju rejuvenation. I think I've listened to that song. Diet is raw paleo diet. There's Willard Fuller, who was a man that um, would pray over people and their cavities would be filled by God. Oil pulling, fluoride. Then in the comments section, from like 20, 2009 and 2015, it says, Somebody mentioned Taoist Yoga, Alchemy, and Immortality by Charles Look, Chapter 2. After another hundred days, a further 64 chu of vitality are gained while the positive principle increases to five units. His spirits are very high and new teeth grow to replace the fallen ones. Next person said, Please add to the interested list. I believe all things are possible. I listen and read the Abraham material. If you don't know, like Esther Hicks, that's Abraham. And they also support the possibilities of tooth regeneration and limbs. Mm, okay. Okay. Somebody said, I'm working on regenerating two teeth back to health. I'm having a checkup with my dentist and I'm maintaining a healthy diet. I pray to God for good health in the name of Christ. So far, what I've done, I ate hard wheat to break out the fillings in two teeth I want to regenerate. The next thing I have done is cut out all sugar and processed foods. Now, this is in 2013. Somebody named Landon wrote this. Next, I started to take bone mineral densifier. I take it twice, two to three times daily. With this, I also take a breast milk-based amino acid supplement. Where's the breast milk coming from? The breast, breast milk is from True Hope Nutritional Support LTD. I take it to get the body back into a regrowth cycle. While I take all of these vitamins... I'm looking more towards God to heal me rather than unto my body to heal itself. As I mentioned, there was somebody, there was another article where there was a story of a woman that gave her, her elderly mother-in-law without any teeth um, breast milk and it grew back her teeth. And one of the traditional Chinese medical stories. Each night, I also take and crush one gram of vitamin C with two of my bone mineral densifiers and rub the powder into my gum near the damaged teeth to promote direct absorption into mouth to increase the distribution of vitamins and minerals to the teeth. I use vitamin C. In summary, breast milk supplements promote growth cycles like that unto little children. Bone mineral densifier gives the body its needed minerals. Vitamin C promotes absorption. Healthy diet. Keep your mouth clean with distilled water. Look to God. He knows how the body works. He made us in his image. Somebody in 2014 called Banchek wrote, We need 77 essential minerals, 16 essential vitamins, 12 essential amino acids, and 3 essential fatty acids daily before we can hope to heal. Proper mineralization can increase our resistance to toxins at a 98% level. Lose the electronics or filter them. Most consumer electronics work in the microwave band. Calcium is a metal and our bones act as an antenna for all electromagnetic radiation. Calcium is charged to positive plus two ions with exposures around 900 megahertz, even without much heating. Speaking of which, vitamin D comes from the sun. 
Sunscreen causes cancer by blocking the production of vitamin D. That's what I keep telling people, but okay. Calcium does without it. Ronnie in 2013 says, I suggest you take a course in kinesiology muscle testing. MJ Drager said in 2013, If you have a tooth root, lipus, low-intensity pulse ultrasound does regrow teeth and jawbone. 14, which I think is one of the best in this tooth video, is called my observations and opinions on dental regeneration and healing with natural healing modalities such as raw diet, supplements, energy healing, or spiritual healing. This site has been created by Vinny Pinto, a mystic remote spiritual healer and consulting scientist. So he goes and talks about raw diets and dental regeneration. Um... The Paleolithic diet and do, 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 do. it's just too long. It's just too long. Raw diets usually seem to have an easier time with teeth, both in terms of arresting old cavities and sealing of open cavities, than do most folks on a raw vegan diet. Brutarian diets seem to be the worst in this regard. Okay. Examining raw vegan diets more closely, if we go to the extremes of such diets and take a look at fruitarians, folks who eat primarily fruit or only raw fruit, we find numerous stories of massive tooth decay and even tooth loss. healing and regeneration with other natural methods. Body electronics is a system of natural self-healing related methods which aim for cellular regeneration. While body electronics does not officially claim that this will happen in their program and in fast officially warns that you cannot count on it. Some of their cavities popped out of their teeth. Dental, the teeth grew new pulp, dentin, and enamel. Then he mentions Dr. Christopher. Um, he also mentions some mystics and meditators. Some folks in spiritual traditions who experience a state of complete God unity and love and perfection have also experienced massive healings in their bodies. I've heard of this before. Quantum touch, which is like a, it's almost like a form of Reiki. There were two cases. One was a dental regeneration in an adult female. And the next was another dental regeneration in an adult female. She had baby teeth that were erupting through her gums using quantum touch. I don't know who Hilarion is. UFO encounters, spiritual healers. Some of them are dead though. Energy healers. And then, I don't know. So, that's basically about it for my tooth notebook. I'm sorry that it was so long. I'm sorry about the mouse and the screaming, but I just wanted to share with you everything in there so you could have as much information as you need in order to heal your teeth. So talk to you all later, everyone. Bye-bye.